figureheads, let's check out some Humvees from around the world in episode four of our series, Show Us Your Humvee, where we show off your military Humvees. In Show Us Your Humvee, we feed your Humvee fix with Humvees from around the world. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly episodes. The purpose of this series is to give you a deeper look into cool Humvees than you would get from a few pictures on social media. To be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, we need at least the year and model of your Humvee, where your Humvee lives, and some background on what makes it cool, like if you know any of your Humvee's history, upgrades you've made, how you use it in a unique way, etc. Send that info to showusyourhumvee at gearreport.com and I'll put it in a future episode of Show Us Your Humvee. Here we go with episode four of Show Us Your Humvee. Carlos is one tough hombre living dangerously in the Big Apple. This beautiful 1987 M1026 has a 6.2 liter with three-speed transmission and 7,500 miles on the odometer. This Humvee was originally an M1038 and was converted into an M1026. Some cool features include a complete radio setup, a working Blue Force tracker system with PLGR. Uh, for those not up on all the acronyms the cool kids use, that's Precision Lightweight GPS Receiver. Carlos is loaded for bear. In addition to the turret, there's a secondary weapon mount on top and a front passenger windshield mount with swing arm. In case those guns generate a little too much heat or anything else goes wrong, this M1026 has a working fire suppression system. Communications is made easier by the working VIC-3 communication system with four headsets. The massive front bumper is from Ibis Tech, while the hood-mounted toolkit is from our friends at MSG. <laughs> no, not Madison Square Gardens. That would be Military Systems Group. Thanks for sharing this badass Humvee, Carlos. Time to cross the U.S. and visit Tim in Eastern Oregon and his not-so-stock 1991 M998 Humvee. I'm going to read you what Tim sent me describing this Humvee. Just imagine it sounding sexier, like Tim was reading it to you himself. Here we go in Tim's own words. Here's a few pictures of my Project Humvee. It's a project that I think I'll never end. I'm located in Eastern Oregon and have had the vehicle for about two years. I've stuck more money into accessories for it than what I paid for the main shell of it. When I purchased the truck, it was a two-door with troop seats. I like that setup, but not for hauling friends around, so I turned it into a four-door. Here's a list of accessories I've installed. Snowplow, tire carrier, Odyssey batteries, 12-volt converter, grounding harness kit, four rugged radio headsets, brush guard, LED headlights, and light bar, CB radio, half doors, winch, air lockers, front and rear, two air compressors, one for the lockers, the second for the tires, two inch body lift, 40 inch tires and new rims, 12 volt receptacles for phones, etc. in the front and the rear compartments, ammo boxes for storage, rear backup lights, tow hitch, airlift bumper, snow plow springs, new stock shocks, radio tray, antenna with mount, relocated exhaust, rock sliders, 12 volt fuse panel, and a solar charger. Tim's getting ready to install a four door gypsy roof rack with even more exterior lights. Here's another quote, and feel free to leave a comment if you can relate to this one. I keep telling myself I'm done, but then I see something else to install. Yeah, I, I can't relate to that one either. Unfortunately, Tim didn't send interior pictures. Thanks for sharing your M998, Tim. I can't wait to see what you do next. Let's wrap up episode four of Show Us Your Humvee with a quick little jaunt to the opposite side of the world. Gregory imported this 1992 troop carrier Humvee from the USA. You know, sometimes we think it's hard waiting for the EUC to clear here in the US. Well, <laughs> we have it easy, folks. Gregory couldn't import his Humvee directly to Hungary. He had to do it in steps. Step one was from the US to the European Union. Then from the EU, he was able to move to step two and get Hungarian papers. It's not possible to import directly from the USA straight to Hungary. Gregory says, I do not know interesting things about it. The Humvee is interesting on its own in my country. In fact, it was so interesting that the Hungarian group called Backyard Garage did a film about his extraordinary daily use Humvee. If you liked the video, give a like, subscribe, and 
és kövessetek Instagramon, és köszönöm a figyelmet, ez a videó ennyi volt, további szép napot, sziasztok! You can find the link to that video in the written article or the video description below. From the pictures and videos that Gregory sent, it looks like he's taken this Humvee everywhere in Hungary by paved road, dirt road, mud road, ferry, even sometimes where there is no road. Thanks for sharing your Humvee with the world, Gregory. If you'd like your Humvee to be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, it's pretty simple. Send some landscape-oriented pictures or a link where I can download some video of you doing cool stuff in your Humvee. Please, video, landscape format also, we're adults, not millennials. When I get that video, I'm going to work through in the order that I receive them. So if you'd like to be featured sooner, send it in more quickly. For additional instructions on how to submit your Humvee to show us your Humvee, check out the video description down below. It's, is it here? No. Down there somewhere.